You can find all kinds of tasty produce in the garden behind the Build Youth Services Agency on the west side. We grow a number of things. We grow uh, corn, we have tomatoes, we do zucchini, we have squash. Kenyana Walker helps run the Austin Grown program at Built with the goal of making farm to table a reality for inner city kids. The starting point for Austin Grown, I think, was to make sure that the youth knew their options, that they that they could see something like this be a career path for them. And also to understand and learn how to be able to sustain themselves. Austin Grown has been around for about 10 years, but this is only its second growing season in their new space. Organizers say the program lets the young people involved see every step of the growing process. From start to finish, they have a hand in on it. We start with the soil. We start with the seed, seed starting mix. We mix it up ourselves. The goal of this program is to teach a life skill, to show the youth that there's something out here for everybody, and here's something, try it. If you like it, you like it. If not, you can still take a little bit with you. I actually have managed to find a, a lot of enjoyment being out here and, and actually doing things, doing things related to guard, related to gardening, produce, farming, how to manage things. Josiah Sutton is a youth apprentice at the garden and one who has found a love of growing through his work. It's actually been a lot fun along the way. Growing myself, making sure I can I learn adequate gardening techniques, lessons being taught by me by Miss Kay and many others who are above me. He says working in the garden has inspired him to pursue a career path in urban agriculture and to grow food for his own family. I can transfer all the experience that I've earned here with what I'm actually planting here and apply it all to at home so my family actually has more food to eat so we don't have to go out and buy, don't have to go out and, and buy food less often. They realize that this is something that they could use in their lives and they it's a it's a life skill. So they can take it with them. Walker says the garden is also a way to teach some bigger life lessons to the young people who get involved. I also share with them social justice issues that we all suffer from, even from the neighborhood we're in right now, which is Austin. We are a food desert, so I let our youth know what part we play in combating that. Everything grown here ends up back in the community, either donated to partner organizations or given away at a market run by the young people who make the garden a reality. I show them how in our past that our predecessors and ancestors used urban agriculture and farming in general as a tool of liberation to show that we're strong enough to do things on our own and to show people that our youth are doing something positive and give them a reason to want to come and be involved and you know, like that. I hope it expands. I hope we're able to go to different neighborhoods and show our youths in, the other, in other areas that this is possible and look what we can do with our hands. Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.